Hello there. I am the king. Dracarys. What's up, Eldest Horde? Welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing the episode 7 trailer for House of the Dragon. Don't forget to smash that like, subscribe if you haven't, and let's get to the breakdown. What is this brief mortal life? In the opening of the trailer, we can hear the voice of Corlys Velaryon as we are laying the rest of his daughter, Lyanna, who was, well, without sounding too insensitive, was burnt to a crisp by Vagar. If not the pursuit of legacy. So this here is an interesting shot for me because you can see that uh, Rhaenyra's family is all dressed in black and... Allison's family is all dressed in that high tower green. You also might be wondering what exactly are they burying at sea? Well, yes, she turned to ashes, but there was some remnants left. We play an ugly game. So here we see Rhaenyra's. Now remember, she's married to Corlys Valerian, and you know, her daughter just died as well. We see her throwing down a ring. And we're not quite sure exactly what that is or what type of ring that is, but it could be signifying that she's joining one of the two groups. Sure. Here we get an absolute glorious shot of Vagar the Dragon, and he will be a integral part of this episode. To be a strong queen, your subjects must fear you. Fire is such strange power. Everything that House Targaryen possesses is owed to it. In the voice over here, we can hear Rhaenyra talking about how fire is such an integral part of her house and how everything they know comes from that. We also get a good look at Vagar's mouth uh, preparing to breathe fire. Now this is going to go along with a scene that we saw last week. And then we see a little scene of the entire group together and you can see Damon is now back with Rhaenyra and also Corlys is there too. So what the scene means to me is that we can see that we have House Targaryen becoming one, and then we have the High Towers as another group, and poor Viserys is stuck in the middle. Someone stole Vega. Here we can see Bela goes to wake up to Cerys to let him know that it looks like somebody has now stolen Vagar. There is a debt. So towards the end of the trailer, we can see somebody is fighting somebody on the stairwell. Now, I believe the one person is going to be Sir Carlo or Carl. And here it looks like he might even be fighting Leno. So we'll have to see what exactly makes them want to fight each other. Here we see a hooded figure. Uh, what I'm guessing here is that this is the person who indeed steals Vagar. To be paid. This is the highest of treason. So if you look closely at the image, we can see that Aegon is behind Alicent. And this is a big scene from the books. So without giving out any spoilers, something will happen with Aegon and Allison, as you can see, is not very happy. And later in the trailer, we will see how she retaliates. I promise you in time, you and I together will prevail. So here we have the return of Otto Hightower. Now what I did here is I blended two parts of the trailer together where Otto was prominent. You can see here that we don't see the person who is the new hand of the king. But I think we can go ahead and assume it probably is going to be Otto. You can then see Larry Strong as he's staring at Allison as he nods to her. And you can briefly see Otto in the frame. To me, Larry's is like the new little finger. And he is so sneaky, he kind of has Allison doing some of his bidding almost. And we're going to have to see how this is going to move forward in that relationship and you know when Viserys dies I think that's when all hell will break loose now they see you as you are all right so here again I 
blended two scenes that are going to go together just for the sake of discussing it. So in the first image, we can see that Viserys is carrying the Valyrian dagger on his waist. And at this point, he's just so weak. He can't even stop Alicent from grabbing it. And so she ends up taking it from him and basically charges at Rhaenyra. And again, this is going to have something to do with what happens to Aegon. And you can see here that it looks like Rhaenyra is going to end up being cut by the dagger that Alicent grabbed from Viserys. But again, you know, it could be the way that the trailer was filmed to make us believe that. And in the final scene, um, or the final image of the trailer, we can now see that Alicent is just going crazy. Rhaenyra even says in the trailer that now people can see what, who she truly is. So for me, this is basically the straw that broke the camel's back. And this is what's really going to begin the war with the blacks versus the greens. Let me know what you think of the trailer. Are you excited for episode 7? Also in the comments down below, give me your theories on who you believe stole Vagar. And don't forget, I will be live again on Sunday at 10.20, right after episode 7, breaking it all down for you. Alright, thanks for watching, and don't forget, keep those headlines.